Here from uh, Miss Katie and Aubrey, the parents of uh, Dante Wright, knowing that Aubrey's many of uh, their family members said, you know, do you believe that we'll get equal justice? And I, I told them I believe they would. I thought we had reached a new precedent in America where we were going to see equal justice regardless of the ethnicity of the offending party and the victims. And so, uh, so a lot of them said, Attorney Crump, you really believe it? I said, we are fighting to make it equal justice. And they said, we normally don't see that in America. And uh, we tried to encourage them to believe that it is equal justice in America. But when we have sentences like this, it makes it difficult to make those arguments because wasn't Muhammad Noor trying to do the exact same thing they said Kim Potter was trying to do? He was trying to look out for his fellow officer's safety as well. He was very remorseful as well. But they didn't make a downward departure for the black police officer like they made for this white police woman. And that's problematic to many people of color in America that we continue to see this intellectual justification to make sure that it seems like they get the most of justice and we get the most of injustice. And that's what we're struggling with at this moment. So this is very emotional for them. Uh, this is their baby. Miss Katie will address you first and then her husband, Aubrey, Dante's father will address you. Oh. Kim Potter murdered my son. And he died April 11th. Today, the justice system murdered him all over again. <laughs> to sit there <laughs> and watch pouring my heart out in my victim impact statement that took so long to write and I reread it over and over again to not get a response out of the judge at all. But then when it came down convicting or to sentencing Kim Potter, she broke out in tears. So once again, we are standing here to say that we're very disappointed in the outcome. Yes, we got a conviction and we thank everybody for that. But again, this, is, this isn't okay. This is the problem with our justice system today. White women tears trumps. Wow. Trumps justice. And I thought my white women tears would be good enough because they're true and genuine. But when they're co-horsed, coached, and taught by the defense attorney, I guess we didn't have a win in this at all. Thank you. I want to just say, you know, I feel, I feel cheated. I feel hurt. I'm, I'm very upset that my son' life was taken, and that it seemed to me that nobody even cared enough. You know, it was like. Um, they were so tied up into her feelings and what her, what's going on with her that they forgot about my son being killed. A life was taken. Mm. And it's just sad to say that um, I feel like we was tricked. You know, um, we was limited on everything, on what to even say, I feel like. And um, it's just sad that our justice system, will, you know, we actually thought we was going to get a little justice. You know, nothing could ease our mind from Dante being killed. But just the fact of knowing that this lady was going to pay for that, it gave us a little sense of hope, like, you know, things were going to get a little bit better. But now we, I walk out of this courthouse feeling like people are laughing at us because this lady got a slap on the wrist and we still every night sitting around crying, waiting on my son to come home. 
I'm upset. Um, and, and the emotions are real. You know, one of Dante family members told me just now, you know, people in our community have gotten sentenced to greater time for selling marijuana than she got for killing our cousin. Let that sink in. There are black people in prison serving greater time for selling marijuana, which is legal in most states, than this police officer got for killing this young black man.